28. A box can hold up to 12 donuts. How many boxes are needed if a customer places an order for 150 donuts? Well, if we think about it mentally, we know 12 box, 12 donuts can fit into one box. 24 donuts can fit into two boxes. We need three boxes for 36 donuts and so forth. How much do we need for 150 donuts? Well, this is a division problem. If you divide 24 by 12, you get two. If you divide 36 by 12, you get three. So by taking the total number of donuts, dividing it by 12, that's gonna help us to see how many boxes we need. So let's do long division. 12 is gonna be the divisor, 150 is the dividend. Now how many times does 12 go into 15? 12 goes into 15 one time. 12 times one is 12. And then if we subtract 15 minus 12 is three. Next, we need to bring down a zero. How many times does 12 go into 30? The highest multiple of 12 just under 30 is 24. So 12 goes into 30 two times. 12 times two is 24. If we subtract it, we get six. Now six is less than 12, so that's gonna be the remainder. Therefore, 150 divided by 12 is 12 remainder six. So what does this mean? If we have 12 boxes, that's gonna hold up to 144 donuts because 12 times 12 is 144. 13 boxes, 12 times 13, that's 156. If we only have 12 boxes, we won't, we can't fit 150. The most we can fit is 144. So we need an additional box. Now when we get the answer 12 remainder six, that means that 12 boxes will be filled with donuts. That's gonna be 144 donuts. The six remaining, that's gonna have to go in the 13th box. So the 13th box is gonna be half filled. There's only gonna be six donuts in the 13th box. But we need at least 13 boxes to hold 150 donuts. The first 12 boxes will be filled, but the last box will only have six. So for this problem, we need to round up. So C is the correct answer.